All right, guys, I'm gonna try the brand new unreleased two ounce. So I got two of them on here. Come on. fish that sucker right here. Don't come into fish right next to the creator that's, that's, himself. That big fish casting the stuff right there. This is actually a hookup bait sponsored trip. Chad's the owner of Hookup Baits, and he's partnered with the Phoenix today to really showcase his product. And looks like he has a few of them with him. <laughs> Just a few. I even got the two and three ounce. These are new sizes coming out on Black Friday. What? Six inch bait with a three ounce head, so it's like a three ounce bullet. And then a two ounce, six inch bait. So we're out here testing. You heard it here first. That's right. <laughs> Two ounce and three ounce hookup baits, six inch. That's gonna be pretty game changer for those days where there's a little more current or a little bit more wind or you're fishing a lot deeper, a lot deeper. Yep, exactly. Oh, that's right, somebody did say that. Most people use spinning yeah. setups for this. Yeah, I do. I like them. Main reasons? Part of the reason that, especially like you're floating anywhere along here, you can cast it anywhere you are. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. It's very easy to cast. That's okay. true. Underhand, overhand, sidearm, you can cast it anywhere. Yeah. And then braid comes off of it very easily, so it gets a better sink. The looser yeah. your line is to your bait, the more Action. glide and all yeah. that kind of stuff you get out of it. What's the catchphrase? Don't don't sleep don't, on the drop. <laughs> don't blink on the sink. Don't blink on the <laughs> sink. <laughs> I can't use that like like only two or three years in, uh -huh. I could use it for, for spotted bait bass fishing. I'm yeah. like, I'm still in that. <laughs> when, what year did the hookup baits come out? Uh, seven years ago. We're seven on our seventh year. year right wow. Now. The Phoenix. Uh, so you got a 44 foot boat here. Uh, we have an awesome hot galley, nice stainless steel. Most boats don't have that up around here. This boat's a little smaller, a little bit more rockier. However, we're also the only boat that gets out to go do this 10 hour trip here out of Port San Luis. So kind of a special boat. We like to play music all day, so we're definitely a party boat. We are the only boat that has uh, 10 to 8 hour trips regularly on the schedule, and I'm one of two captains that run this boat. So if you don't see me driving the boat, you're definitely seeing me decking on the boat. We're heading down to Parisma. Typically we start fishing out about 90 foot of water. The idea is that we're going to fish some uh, secluded stones, a lot of mud, a lot of sand, looking for the brown rockfish and the vermilion rockfish. The grand scheme is that we get limited out here pretty early in about two hours or so, 10 o'clock, and then we could sneak off into the shallows, start looking for those bigger lingcod, bigger cabazon, maybe even do a drip for halibut today. Uh, that's a grand idea. You definitely want to fish hookup baits, the double rig setup, and bait's been working pretty good, but I definitely think the hookup bait's the ticket. I like these ones. I know you did the double thing, but when that the, the double rig with the sliding swivel, works great and everything else but this does tangle less i know that doesn't tangle much and it still works really well especially when there's yellowtail around if you get a, a yellowtail and another fish you'll give where these don't give but for if you're just doing rock fishing or bass fishing this three-way owner swivel works fantastic never had one break and that's the best way to keep everything unspun and straight so what do we got here nice brown Solid. Uh, number 10. There's fish on both sides of me right now. All right, now you know the feeling. <laughs> oh, come on. Good one, Seth. Good one. Yeah, he's good. It's a good one. Yeah. Nice brown, nice brown. Ooh. What you got there, Seth? I don't know, but he's swimming that way. That's a nice brown. Oh, it's a big brown. Nice brown. Good one, dude. There you go, go fatty. Yeah. Here's the regular big game, right? One yeah. and a half, and that's a three ounce. So there are not much size difference. No. Five to six inch bait, you know, a little that's bit bigger good. diameter. Yeah. And then this is the two ounce. So just slightly bigger bait, but you know, you can go double like for next year when we the regulations make you fish deeper, you can go double three ounce these, and you're still gonna catch a lot of fish. But I've been fishing these for years. I've been fishing this one for years. We actually called this the TW series for our saltwater bass stuff. That's tournament winner series because <laughs> we want so many bass tournaments fishing this two ounce. So we're finally releasing it to you guys. But then Cedros um, Island doing the yo-yo yellowtail stuff. This three ounce one like this was insanely good. So 
Yo-Yo Fisher for Yellowtail. And on your Yellowtail rod, this three ounce bullet jig, cast a mile. You could cast it so far. So three to the tuna boils. Um, but then also sinks really well. So you put two of these on there, your six ounces, you can fish 300 feet, 400 feet way, like very easily. So it's gonna be a little bit of a game changer for everybody. Black Friday, look for them. The other thing about the spinners is the Saragosas. Yeah. They're just as powerful as any real life view. They're so powerful. A lot of cranking I like, power. I like the ball handle, power yeah. arm. Yeah. And then they're zero maintenance. I've never rinsed this reel, never used, done anything oh, that's to sick. it. And it's probably six years old or more. I like that part about it, yeah. And, and, and you're, you're well, especially thing, as much as you travel, it too. Is, it's just, it's yeah. super smooth. I have done nothing to it, <laughs> ever. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were right. No. I, <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I, uh, I free spool thumb oh, it when oh, I'm down there. Oh, so that was you clicking yeah. your Gotcha. On the two ounce, yeah. next to Chad. <laughs> Even small fish that eat big baits. Yeah. <laughs> this little thing right there. See when you hook him across the nose like that? Yeah. He bit the head of the bait. And, and it when swung he sprung, around. Your bait, your hook just happened to be facing the right way. Yeah. And you hooked him in the nose. That's a lot of those small bites you get. Is they're attacking the heads of the big ah. That's why a lot of times a stinger hook is yeah. no good because yeah. a lot of the bites you're missing, they're biting the On head. On the head. That, <laughs> that's a good tip. <laughs> I usually just do an arm length. The first one, the longer one. And then the second one, I'll just tie it on and bring it down to about five inches above and cut it there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Gotta love catching fish. Oh, yeah. Got a little weight. Chad doing Chad things right here. <laughs> oh, he's running. All right, guys, let's turn it on the press roll here. Go to water, water up for me. Water up. Oh, nice. Look how he ate it. Look how he ate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Solid. Solid, bro. And I like to try just a double improved clinch knot, small knot right to the hook. Every knot works. And I know you like tying up the loop knot, but the loop knot allows the bait to roll more this way, which is sometimes a better action, sometimes not. More roll, you get less dart. So if you want your bait doing a lot of this, tie a straight knot. If you want your bait kind of rolling around and doing this, you tie your loop knot. Really no wrong way of doing it. Yeah. So uh, I play with both for my prefer just a straight Small knot, small profile. Faster too, a lot faster. Fast, yes, faster. Yeah. And I don't like the big like San Diego knots, big old gnarly knot hanging out there. I like a really small, low profile knot. Oh, nice red. Nice red. That's a picture right there. Oh, big ling. Uh, we're picking away at them, mostly browns, cabazons, a couple short lings. Seems like the sardine green and the chub are the colors right now. Yeah. Oh, tree fish. Nice. Oh, nice brown, Dad. Yeah, a lot of people just make fishing videos. I love how you explain and show and show the setup. So, you know, it takes that, that's good stuff. With that being said, we hope you learned a lot from this video in terms of the baits and how to rig them and you got really excited seeing us catch all of these fish. It was a really perfect day on the Phoenix out of Port San Luis and we got to hang out with new friends and old ones and we got to learn together and again catch a bunch of fish. I even got to bring my dad on this trip which was really great to spend time on the boat with him. And if you guys want to be in on a trip like this in the future, definitely shoot me a follow on Instagram. That way you can see when I post that we're going on trips like this to help fill the boat with a bunch of Hook to Hook family. Special thanks to The Phoenix and Hook Up Baits for sponsoring this trip. I definitely had a great time. And again, meeting new friends is what a lot of this is all about. If you wanna see another video where we're hooking up on a lot of fish on the Hook Up Baits, click the link on the top right hand side of your screen.
we'll catch you guys on yeah, the next one. Cool.